Welcome to Stories and Songs. I'm Miss Mary and I'm so excited that you're here today. Today let's sing our first song, Hello Friends. Do you remember the sign for friends? We're going to use it again. This is the sign for friend. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Awesome. The first book we're going to read today is Raybot and Weebot by Adam F. Watkins. Let's go ahead and start reading. Raybot and Weebot by Adam F. Watkins. Raybot has two best friends. He does everything with puppy and parrot. They play soccer and go swimming. They especially enjoy quiet days spent relaxing in the junkyard. But this day isn't as quiet as others. But um. They all rush over to see who just arrived at the junkyard. It's Weebot. Raybot always wanted a little brother to play with. Beep bop. And Weebot never ever gets tired. Bap boop. He just keeps going and going. Weebot always wants to play along. Bap bop. But he never knows when to stop. Raybot tries to teach him the rules and how to play nice, but Weebot sometimes ruins things. He rarely powers down and he makes a lot of noise. Beep boop. Make this snoring sound. <sighs> Even when it's time to go to sleep. Raybot wishes he could get away from the little robot, but Weebot follows him everywhere. Bebop? <laughs> Raybot has a plan to make things like they were before Weebot arrived. Early the next morning, while Weebot is still asleep, Raybot puts him back into his crate. and brings Weebot back to where he found it. Zzz. Free robot. Raybot is excited to have a quiet day with just Parrot and Puppy. He tries to paint, but he can't find the inspiration. This says, I love Raybop. He tries to enjoy the quiet, but it doesn't feel right. Someone is missing. Raybot, Puppy, and Parrot rush through the junkyard to get Weebot back. Beep, beep. But they're too late. Weebot's crate is empty. He's gone. They head back to the junkyard. Raybot thought he would be happy without Weebot pestering him all the time, but he just feels sad. But wait! Weebop! Weebot! Raybot can't believe his eyes! It's Weebot! Their friend has come home. Raybot has never been so happy. Even if Weebot still gets in trouble from time to time. This was a cute story. You know, though, it reminded me of something in my own life and maybe in your life. 
do you have a little sister or big sister or a little brother or a big brother or a friend that sometimes when you're together a lot, they start to annoy you? It reminds me of my little sisters. When we were young, sometimes I would start to get annoyed. Or maybe you've experienced something where you're working hard on maybe building a tower with blocks and then your little brother comes around and swipes them all down in one big swipe of their hand and you just start to feel annoyed because they do it again and again and again. And then maybe you start to feel frustrated that you can't get your tower to be what you ta want your tower to be because it keeps getting knocked over. And then maybe you get angry at them. Maybe it's not a tower, but maybe they just do something that annoys you, frustrates you, and makes you angry. I know it can be really hard sometimes, but I think we all know the right way to respond in those situations. We should always be kind and always be patient, right? And remember, we're always supposed to treat other people the way we want to be treated. So we act, we treat people, we talk the way that we would want people to treat us. And so I think this week, if you start feeling annoyed or maybe impatient and frustrated, that you would just take a deep breath and just practice being patient and kind and talk and treat other people, whoever it is, the way that you would want them to talk and treat you. I know you can do it. Today we're gonna sing This Little Light of Mine again. Are you ready? Okay. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Great job. You know, you are like a light yourself. Just like this week on the 4th of July, the fireworks will light up the dark night sky. You are also a light everywhere you go. We're going to read a 4th of July story by Jerry Spinelli called My 4th of July. Are you ready? Great. Jerry Spinelli, My 4th of July, illustrated by Larry Day. Noise! I wake up. I rush to the front window. Parade, drums, cymbals, pinwheels, flags, tricycles. It's the best day of all, the 4th of July. I join the parade. Grown-ups laugh and wave and point. I'm still in my pajamas. When I get back, Dad is fetching the wagon. Hooray! He's home all day. Mama is in the kitchen getting the picnic ready. The pie is in the oven. What kind? I ask her. You'll see, she says. She always says, you'll see. The pie is always cherry crumb. Time to do my job? I ask. Mama hands me a shaker. Get to work, she says. I get to add the final touch, a sprinkle of paprika on the deviled eggs. Everything goes into the wagon, hot dogs, hot dog rolls, mustard, chopped onions, relish, pickles. I look at the clock. I call to everybody, hurry. I'm in charge of hurrying. There are only 25 picnic tables at the park. We must not be late. The wagon is filling up. Peanut butter, filled celery boats, potato salad, napkins, tablecloth, red, white, and blue cupcakes. 
In goes the surprise in a white box. There's always a surprise. What is it? I ask. I always ask. You'll see, Mama always says. Paper cups, plastic forks, are we ready? Wait, I shout, don't forget the pie. I'm in charge of not forgetting. Finally, out the door. Mama hands me a banana. I'm so excited I forgot to eat breakfast. Down the street to the railroad tracks. Look, black cloud, thunder. Oh no, storm coming. Yahoo! It's a train rumbling round the bend. Flags flutter from the flanks of the great engine. We wave at the engineer. Down the path by the creek to the park. Hurry, hurry! I grab the pickle jar and run ahead. I plunk it on an empty table. It's ours. I can't wait. I beg for the surprise. Mama sighs. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I tear open the white box. Chocolate covered strawberries, big as plums. Mom and dad watch me. They can't stand it. They gobble their surprises too. For this one best day, the park is my backyard. Face painting. I'm a raccoon. Three-legged sack race. My friend Henry and I come in last. We're laughing too hard to care. Back to the table. Food, eat. We cook our hot dogs on the grill in the gazebo. We wait our turn. I like mine with black stripes. Talent show at the band shell. There's my neighbor, Sally. She sings a song called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm bogglepussed. Sally, my next door neighbor, Sally, sings like an angel. Concert. At the gazebo, the Tootle Town 10 plays zippy music. Little kids rush the stage of the gazebo to dance. Parents, too. Here come mom and dad. Back at the band shell, the biggest flag the biggest flag I've ever seen is unrolling behind the stage. We stand for the Star Spangled Banner. The whole park is silent and still. Back to the picnic table. Eat, eat. Noseball race. I win. Run to the zoo. Quack at the ducks. The goat makes me laugh. Monkey fingers reaching. More food. I'm becoming a potato pickle hot dog cupcake pie. Slow down, Mama says, but she doesn't mean it. She's smiling. The shadows are getting long. The sun is in the trees. The best part of the best day is coming. Fireworks. I eat the last deviled egg. We toss the trash, give away the pickles. All that's left for the wagon is the tablecloth. Hurry, I say. I'm in charge of getting a good place. We find one on the outfield slopes of the baseball field. Soon we're surrounded. I think everybody in town is here. 5,000 people, Dad says. Shadows creep across the field. All the way to me. Oh, the minutes crawl as I slide back in my wagon. It's the longest wait there ever is. A thump in the dark, sudden umbrella of lights, 5,000 faces aglow, fireworks. Pinwheels and gushers. Comets and twisters. My eyes cannot hold the wonders I see. My heart is cheering. A cannon booming volley. I hold my ears. I scream with joy and it's over. Car lights flashing, smoke 
drifting from the baseball field. It smells like burnt toast. And once again, I feel something I haven't felt since the 3rd of July. I feel sleepy. The tablecloth becomes a pillow. Into the wagon I go. My own little train with dad as, an, as engineer. Through the park, across the creek, down the path. I see nothing but stars. There are only the stars and my wagon and me. I am overfilled in every way. I have seen too much, run too long, been too happy. I close my eyes. I am in charge of sleeping. I hope you enjoyed our stories this week and I hope to see you again next week. Let's go ahead and close with our last song, Goodbye Friends. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. See you next time.